Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you how to use the frequency function in Microsoft Excel. I have a list of students over in column A, their test scores over in column B. Uh, one way to do this is to use count ifs. So if I wanted to know, as an example, who made a C, that would be equals count ifs this range, comma, my criteria is greater than or equal to 70, comma, this range, again, comma, criteria 2 is less than or equal to 79. And two people, and it's that person and that person. The problem is, that's the people that made a C. Well, that's, if I want to do A, B, C, D, and somebody obviously made an F because they have a 57 and a 55, I can sit here and do all these count ifs, but here's the frequency function, which is sometimes easier. So I type this information over here because this is my grading scale. So if you have a 90, to one, 90 and higher, you get an A. 80 to 89 is a B. 70 to 79 is a C. 60 to 69 is a D, and below 60 is going to be an F. Go ahead and select those five, and it's going to be simply equals frequency. This test score range, and I'm going to make it absolute reference, comma, this range, and to put in a frequency function is an array function, which means you have to do control shift enter on the keyboard. And there I go. So let's test this. I'm showing three people making an A, meaning 90 or higher. Let me go ahead and sort this real quick. And I'm going to sort it largest to smallest. And there are three people. I got two people with a B, two people with a C. One person gets a D right there, and two with an F. Let's test this. Let's give this 92. Let's make it an 89. And if you notice, it changed down below. If you make them all 95, that means everyone gets an A. Perfect. I'm going to undo. So there's the frequency for function for you right here. Remember, it's an array function, which means it has the braces at the beginning and end. You have to put those in with Control, Shift, Enter. And if I was to really finish this up, I would hide column D, and I would come over here and put in my labels right here. What's nice about the frequency function is if I decide to be nice and I say, well, I'm going to make an A, uh, 88. So if you get over 88, you get an A. It changed it down here. If I use those count ifs, it's a lot of work to keep updating it. Thank you.